Hey guys, Dan here from Prepped and Polished. Welcome back, glad you could join us today. All right guys, today we're gonna to go over how to crush math problems with radians on the new SAT. A lot of people don't understand radians. Maybe you haven't had it in class yet. Maybe you have, you don't remember. Don't worry, you're gonna learn everything you need to know for the SAT and it's gonna be real simple. All right guys, so here's a question from the new SAT math section. This is gonna be one of your grid in questions, one of the last courses on the test. It says, in a circle with center O, central angle AOB is equal to five pi over four radians. The area formed by sector AOB is what fraction of the area of the circle? All right, so it looks a little tough, a lot easier than you think. All right guys, so if you haven't had radians before, I'm gonna give you two things to remember. It should be all you need to know about radians. All right, you're familiar with degrees, so 180 degrees equals pi radians. Therefore, 360 degrees equals two pi. So whenever we're working with a circle, the measure of all the angles of that circle are two pi. All right, so we could draw out a circle for this, but I'm gonna show you that we don't even need to. If it helps you, go for it, but let's just go through it this way. So if 360 degrees, which is the measure of angles in a circle, is two pi radians, if we convert that, let's get a common denominator here. So two pi radians, if we want it with our denominator of four, it's gonna be equal to, now we have eight pi over four, since that reduces to two. All right, so now that we have common denominator, we can compare these two. Now we're saying that the whole circle is eight pi. So let's think of a pizza that has eight slices. If the pizza has eight slices, our sector is covering five of those slices, since these are now comparable. So the fraction that it's covering of the whole pizza is simply five over eight. So remember, even if you've never had radians in class yet, if you remember that 360 degrees, a circle is two pi radians, you'll be able to solve pretty much any radians problem you're gonna see on the SAT. So thanks for joining us today. If you have any more questions or want any help with test prep, head over to preppedandpolished.com. Otherwise, good luck on your tests and have a great day.